What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies video here today on the channel. Today I'm not really going to be talking about Black Ops 3 Zombies in specifics, that's why we discuss it as Call of Duty Zombies. Today a lot of you guys have been requesting to me over on Twitter and videos everywhere pretty much that you could connect with me to talk about the zombie storyline as a whole. So I figure you know what, let's do a little narrative series, a little string of videos in which we talk about the zombie storyline overall. This is going to come mainly credited to the Call of Duty wiki. I really couldn't think of any better way to sum up this than they have. Believe me, I tried very long and very hard to take what they had written down, the full story, and condense it even further, but really I don't think it could be done without leaving parts out. So this is going to be a little narrative and it's something you can find over on the Call of Duty wiki, but I wanted to share it with you guys nonetheless. So little storytelling mode here in the next couple of videos relating to this, but the main story of Call of Duty Zombies. In the year 1939, the world was threatened by a second world war after Germany's Chancellor and Supreme Dictator Adolf Hitler rose to power. Dr. Ludwig Maxis formed Group 935 as an international German-led research team and emerged as its head scientist. Maxis sought to use a mysterious new element, which he had named Element 115, to improve the human condition by developing advanced technologies and enlisted Dr. Edward Richthofen as his senior assistant rather than equal partner, much to his chagrin. However, the group's goal immediately detoured due to lack of funding and Maxis regretfully turned to making a contract with a Nazi Wonder Woman program to use 115 as a power source for deadly new weaponry to help the Axis powers win the war. Maxis hoped that after the war, the generous funds of Germany's ultimate victory would put Group 935 in a much better position to help the world. Using a large supply of Element 115 found in meteors, Maxis began a series of tests experimenting with 115 being used to power devices capable of teleportation called MDTs at the Deris facility in Lower Silesia. While the majority of the tests failed, Richtofen and another 935 scientist, Dr. Schuster, conducted a successful test on their own by teleporting a walnut using a small amount of element 115. Though Edward assumed it was a sign of progress, Maxis criticized the scientists for failing to work on their assigned experiments, which led Richtofen into thinking that Maxis planned to betray the scientists and claim their work as his own. Despite Maxis's displeasure, Richtofen and Schuster continued their research with the MDT device, and after months of tests, Richtofen agreed to be teleported himself. But rather than appearing at the test site's mainframe, he arrived within a catacomb on the moon where a large triangular device known as the MPD was located. After touching the device, Richtofen began hearing a series of voices in his head, unknowingly gaining schizophrenia from the pyramid before being teleported away from the strange device. Arriving in an exotic shrine in the Himalayan jungles known as Shangri-La, Richtofen remained there for three weeks and learned of a mysterious energy force known as the Vril. Richtofen returned to the Darius facility with full knowledge of the MPD and the Vril, and with Schuster and other Group 935 scientists, spent two years building a top secret moon base, Griffin Station, to study the device, which he now knew to be a dimensional gateway to the Aether. Placing Schuster and his superior, Dr. Groff, in charge of the facility, Richtofen continued his charade as Maxis' senior assistant, whom he planned to eventually kill and enter the Aether using the MPD to take control of its energy. As Groff and Schuster toiled with the device, Maxis and Richtofen began a project to create wonder weapons for the Nazi party. Richtofen used the element to create the Wunderwaffe DG2, a weapon so deadly even Maxis himself felt uneasy about its mass production. Nonetheless, he promised Richtofen it would be produced, but his growing attraction with his secretary Sophia prevented him from doing so. While other weapons were produced from several Group 935 facilities, such as the Quantum Entanglement device made by Richtofen and a second generation ray gun created by Dr. Porter, Maxis focused his attention on the matter of transference devices, hoping to manufacture manufacture them to the Wehrmacht granting German forces easy travel in the war. The initial tests failed, with the test subjects either being killed or exposed to element 115, resulting in their deceased cells being reanimated and becoming unresponsive zombies. 
However, the first successful test would be conducted after a dog had been sent through the device and failed to return to the mainframe. While Maxis believed the MDT experiments to be failures, the Reichstag saw the creation of zombies as another advantage in the war, forcing Maxis to control the zombies. During the unsuccessful attempts to control the zombies, Richthofen traveled to the Siberian Group 935 outpost to experiment with 115 on living test subjects, hoping to procure a serum capable of rendering the human mind responsive to commands from another. Using prisoners of war from the war, Richtsofen used Red Army Sergeant Nikolai Belinsky, Imperial Army Captain Takeo Masaki, and an unknown Mexican as test subjects in these tests. Through the process, their memories were erased and the Mexican was killed, forcing Richtsofen to request a replacement test subject. After an American OSS spy, Dr. Peter McCain, who was inserted into Group 935 to report all ongoing experiments to his handlers at the Nevada base, was compromised at the 935 facility at the Wittenau Sanatorium in Pankow, Berlin, a Marine recon team was sent to evacuate him. The team, led by Tank Dempsey, found the site infested with undead and their extraction plan quickly failed. With Dempsey being the only survivor and Richtofen's newest test subject, Peter was parachuted into the Rising Sun facility where he was killed upon landing. Another recon team was sent to an airfield in an attempt to rescue the site from the zombies that were populated there. That's gonna do it for this first part of the zombie storyline. Now we can lead directly into Nocturne on Toten and what happens afterwards. But a little prequel to what we actually see here in the story. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Be sure to stick around for part two of this, a little narrative here of the zombie storyline. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. And if you did, be sure to like rating down below any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you reject. That was greatly appreciated. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Zombies content. Once again, hopefully you guys did enjoy and be sure to stick around for part two here coming very shortly on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.